Hello, Kelsey. It's Mr. Goyette, National University Academy, uh, getting back to you about your question about your um, English 12A grade. And of course, yes, you can improve scores you see there in the grade book. Uh, you're doing a pretty good job if you look at a lot of those grades. You're uh, doing really well. Just had a little trouble with Macbeth, and I wanted to go over Unit 4, Assignment 13. Uh, and a, a quick note to you, Shakespeare was meant to be watched, was meant to be heard, seen on stage. And while we can get a lot out of reading his work and get to know the characters, feel some of those emotions, and, and uh, feel tied to them in the political uh, intrigue and desperation that they're feeling in the story, uh, it, it is often better to see it, to witness it. So you can rent a copy, uh, whether it be from, through Netflix or if your local library, uh, pick up a copy there. Find a way to watch it. You can even watch scenes of Macbeth on YouTube, I believe. I'm sure you can find them there. Um, I'll see if I can find some of those and send them to you. Um, uh, for, uh, assignment or Unit 4, Assignment 13 asks that you identify a passage in Act 4 that has vivid, vivid, vivid imagery. Then it says, what emotions do those images express? Well, let's take a look at just one passage, and I'll, I'll explain to you how I might uh, look over that passage and then comment on it. Um, in the assignment. So I'm going to I'm going to look at Act 4 as it requires and I'm going to mention that I'm looking at Scene 1 and I'm going to mention the lines that I'm reviewing. I'm, I'm looking at lines 50 through 61. The passage begins, this is Macbeth talking to the witches. He's, you'll remember he's hired murderers to kill Banquo and Banquo's son. The murderers botch the job killing Banquo but uh, allowing uh, the son to escape. Then at the state banquet, Macbeth is shocked to see the ghost of Banquo sitting in the king's chair. Macbeth decides to visit the witches again, determined to know the worst, as he says. At the end of Act 3, we learn that Malcolm is in England, preparing to invade Scotland, and that Macduff has gone to join him. Um, Act 4 will be a turning point in the play. Macbeth seeks help from the witches to secure his power. The forces of good, however, are beginning to gather against him. So here's a passage that I chose from scene one, uh, act four, scene one. Again, we're, we're looking for vivid imagery. It doesn't have to be this passage, but this is one that I've selected. Macbeth, I conjure you by that which you profess. However you come to know it, answer me. Though you untie the winds and let the, them fight against the churches, though the yeasty waves confound and swallow navigation up. Though bladed corn be lodged and trees blown down through castles toppled on their warders' heads, though palaces and pyramids do slope their heads to their foundations, though the treasure of nature's garments tumble all together, even till destruction sicken, answer me, tell what I ask you. So some of the imagery I might highlight in my response, let's say um, I might begin by saying uh, Shakespeare's Macbeth is rife or full of imagery. <clears throat> in Act 4, Scene 1, one example of that is Macbeth's um, response to the witches in Act 1, Scene 1, uh, lines 50 through 61. We can. Uh, it is clear that he is. Uh, you, uh, the passage uses uh, strong images to uh, show the destruction that can be unleashed by the witches, and uh, some of the images that jump out at us, or that jump that uh, the reader can uh, pinpoint, are um, the winds knocking over the churches. Um, the bladed corn uh, blown down and the trees blown down, this imagery of devastation, this idea that the witches have this power to, in controlling the winds, destroy cities, destroy lands. Uh, he says, though palaces and pyramids do slope their heads to their foundations, though the treasure of nature's garments tumble altogether, this idea of utter destruction across the land, so that's one section you could pinpoint. Just flipping through the act, though, there are, there's no shortage of sections that you might want to highlight. 
as examples of vivid imagery. So call me if you have questions. Email, use Skype. I want to help you get through Macbeth and understand it, enjoy it as much as possible. I know Shakespeare can be somewhat of a challenge at times, but I'd like you to um, get some of that information from the text so you can get to know those characters, enjoy the plot, understand the plot, and uh, gain some understanding of how Shakespeare um, writes and creates his characters. So call me, and I hope to help you more with your class. Talk to you later. Bye.